Miami, several victims started reporting that hundreds of dollars were missing from their accounts. And police say the only thing all these customers had in common is that they filled up at this gas station. The list is lengthy, person after person, taken for hundreds or even thousands after an elusive crook copied their credit card numbers after the unsuspecting victims bought gas at this Sunoco on Route 22. I check my accounts usually every day, and I got up in the morning and checked the account, and I saw the $6,000 charge. I said, whoa, something's wrong. Buzz Wickman got his money back, but he joins the list of at least 16 others allegedly victimized by Eligio Frias Mojica of New Jersey. These poor souls out there, I wish they would find something more constructive to do with their lives. I mean, they're bright enough to be able to do this. Why not put it to constructive use? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so sad. Investigators said Frias Mojica was caught on surveillance cameras from here to State College, racking up 12,000 in charges on mostly Murraysville residents' cards. But they're still not sure how he did it. We're guessing right now that there was some type of a reader, but we're, we're not sure. They could be, someone could be selling them to the internet, or it could be the, the perpetrator that actually got the numbers himself. The uh, gas station was very cooperative. Um, they actually had reps from the supply company come out, open the pumps, check them thoroughly, and uh, there was nothing found that we could tell. Police are asking anyone who shopped at these pumps who noticed a fraudulent charge from April to August to give them a call. Wickman, for one, is glad police kept at it to make the arrest. Oh, I was thrilled. Yeah, when Tom called me a little while ago, I said, yes, I went, I went for the good guys. In Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.